It's amazing what passes for music these days, isn't it? Oh, that's not music. What's some Mind words? you, once the old noggin tunes in, you can see what they're getting at. <laughs> Come. You can't seriously expect us to work under these conditions. I mean, if anything's going to be pneumatically drilled all day long by a couple of sweaty labourers, it's going to be me. <laughs> it's not working. I'm not jealous. Read my lips. I don't fancy you. You're not fooling anyone but yourself, Steve-O. No, but seriously, this is fucking shocking. I don't know what you mean. The noise you're shaving, baboon, it's not on. Noise? I don't know what you're referring to. To paraphrase Nelson. Nelson? <laughs> Wasn't he that guy with the 180-foot column? Ooh, I'd love to meet him. Oh. <laughs> he wouldn't even touch the sides. To paraphrase. <laughs> Admiral Lord, Admiral Lord, Admiral Lord Nelson. I hear no sound. You hear anything, Steve? No go! Good boy. Prof, how about you? I'm in a peaceful reverie. Excellent. Tell me what about you, mate. I can't hear a thing. Nice work, Squire. No, really, I can't. Dev as a postman went to too many Zed Leplin gigs in the 70s. All right, stood too close to them speakers, eh? Nah, never really enjoyed the gigs. Awful music. I used to spend my time in the car park seeing how many Tic Tac mints I could fit in my ears. <laughs> it's really weird, you know that? 70s mile record, if you're interested. Look, don't play dumb num nuts. There's no way this pub should be open. Shush, darling, please. I mean, it's only sound, isn't it? It's only sound. I mean, it's not like sound can hurt you, is it? I mean, sticks and stones may break your bones with any luck, but sound will never hurt you. Ah! <laughs> my old man's face! <laughs> Steve, that's coming out your wages. Look at my little sugar plum, his ears are bleeding. Oh, no, that's not a noise. I'm trying to beat Terry's record. <laughs> I've only done five. Seventeen's very impressive. You've either got it or you haven't, kid. You see, this is the basic difference between your English man and your Aussie. You see, we thrive on adversity. We love it. It's the blitz spirit. We were never more fulfilled in this country than when the Germans were bombing the crap out of us. <laughs> Happy days. We carried on as if nothing was happening. It drove it lamental. But your Aussie is a whinger. A whinging whinger. Ah, oh, no, it's too cold. Ah, oh, no, the beer's too warm. Ah, oh, you haven't piped my wages yet. Ah, oh, dear, what's that horrible, grating, whining sound? Hold on a second, it's my voice! <laughs> Why don't I just bloody shut up? What a brilliant satire of me. Thank you. I'm being sarcastic. What you Aussies need is to be bombed, yeah? <laughs> it's character forming. Boom Australia! Bomb it flat! Tur! Go glue a red back spider to your scrotum! Look, do you think I want to change the beer garden into a car park? Do you? Do you? You know, if I had a choice, I'd have both a beer garden and a car park. And please, dear God, one day, that carvery I wish so much for. But, as it is, no one uses the beer garden, so I've chosen to have a car park. That's not true. All the locals use the beer garden. No, they don't. Yes, they do, Gov. They use it as a toilet. <laughs> what about health and safety at work? Well, I'd worry about that if I was you, darling. I mean, there's a great big hole out there, half a ton of concrete ready to go in. After all, no one's going to miss one less Australian in London, are they? And if they do, it's only going to be with a sense of relief. <laughs> Is that a threat? <laughs> no, no, I want the one with the working mouth. <laughs> It's not for me, it's for my mother. All right. Oh, what well, can I get you guys a drink, some tucker? Me. <laughs> Just two bites, please, and a couple of pies. Oi, what's going on here, you rubbish? It's half eleven. It's hardly time for lunch, is it, fellas? Work shy skivers. Is there any lunch? <laughs> Sorry, mate, we had to down tools. Circumstances beyond our control. Yeah, we found some remains. I'm not surprised. All the locals use the beer garden and the toilet. Terry! <laughs> no, bones. Human remains. A skeleton? No, no, it's skeleton, son. Skeleton. <laughs> no, skeleton is more correct, though. <laughs> We've got to stop work and inform the authorities whenever we find a human skeleton. Skeleton! The word is skeleton. Oh, Steve! Shut up! <laughs> nah, come on, fellas, we don't need to involve the authorities. I mean, it's not like it's anything very important, is it? I mean, it's just some human remains. <laughs> Sorry, Squire, rules is rules. Rules is rules. And if we didn't have rules, then where would we be? France! France. <laughs> 
voiced by my own petard. But rules is made to be broken, aren't they? I mean, if we only obeyed rules, then where would we be, eh? Hey? That's right. Germany! <laughs> Sometimes France is actually the more attractive option. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, come on, fellas. Let's come to some sort of arrangement. Yeah, let's have a chat about this. Yeah. How does free pork scratching for life sound? <laughs> What's up, Tal? You look like you've seen a skeleton. Skeleton! <laughs> Am I the only one here chilled to the marrow? I don't know. Steve up. Let's fill your marrow and see how warm it is. <laughs> Don't you see bones buried in the pub garden? The governor desperate to cover it all up. What do you want about pass nuts? We've only got his word for it that his wife left him, haven't we? We all know they weren't getting on. And then, one night, she conveniently disappeared. Coincidence or something more sinister? And in my time, I've seen countless bar staff come and go. <laughs> the governor does indeed fit the profile of a typical serial killer, a loner, who has trouble forming meaningful relationships, a resented, domineering female in his life. Latent homosexuality. Yeah, well, that could be any of you losers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> well, he is a lot of things, but he's not a serial killer. He hasn't got the balls. Maybe not. That's what drove him to take other people's. <laughs> he probably keeps them in a shrine in his fridge. I imagine. <laughs> Just think of him. Murdering his wife. Cutting her up into tiny pieces. And burying her under the kiddie's sandpit. To most men, it's just a dream. <laughs> but he actually did it. You've got to admire him. Did kill all these people, then why would he hire workmen to dig up the beer garden and discover the remains? He wants to be caught. Classic serial killer behaviour. <laughs> it's a cry for help! We'll have to turn him in. We'll be doing him a favour. Get me the police! Hey? No, thanks. Uh, I've already got some Japanese love balls. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate, they're blinding. Well, I've got them in there now, um, as a matter of fact. <laughs> then, uh, got any lunch left? Terry, your butt! No, I, I don't remember anything. Yes, you are, Terry. Accusing the landlord of a murder spree. Automatic barring. <laughs> Oh, come on, Gav. Look on the funny side. Funny side? I spent two nights in the cells before the police realised that them bones were a thousand years old. I admit it's a bit funny, peculiar, like. And now I haven't got a beer garden or a car park. Just a bloody great hole full of bloody, sweaty, dirty archaeologists. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, me too. Although in a purely academic sense. <laughs> Gav, I feel bad about this. That's why I've bought a metal deflector to help speed things up a bit. <laughs> Terry, that is not a metal detector, is it? It's a walking stick with a frisbee tape to the end. It is still work. It's a metal deflector of the mind, like that Yuri Gagarin would have. What's this? Wasting tick. Get out! Oh. <laughs> Hello, Blinky! Yes, it's excellent. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Carl! Governor, I've just heard the news. It's Van der Bidusi! How do you spell archaeologist? <laughs> oh, that's hardly the spirit, is it? I don't want him in here. Not normal! <laughs> digging up the past like that. Why do they have to keep digging up the past? I'm in my morning, I know. <laughs> What they're doing here is wrong. Disturbing the dead. They're meddling with forces they do not understand. He's right. Playing around with human bones. They might create a Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein, Steve. No, Frankenstein is more correct. And Frankenstein was the scientist, not How the How many times, Prof? Frankenstein, Frankenstein. I've read about that. We need protection. I knew I shouldn't have given away that condo. <laughs> I think it's very exciting. Ooh, I could crush a grape. <laughs> You'd crush more grapes any time you like, Vicky! Oi! Terry, get out! <laughs> How can anyone get so excited about a pile of old bones? 
Unless, of course, you're more interested in the blokes digging them up, slapper. <laughs> Don't judge everyone by your own standards, Gina. You know very well by now that my name is Janet. Oh, of course, silly me. Ladies, please. <laughs> no, Governor, I think we should make the most of this. This is a really excellent opportunity for the brewery and for the pub, obviously. Crosby, what are you playing at? <laughs> to ward off the Frankenstein. I know, I know prop, it should be garlic, but governor won't have garlic in the place. I had to improvise. <laughs> Anywho, I just think you should come and meet them. I don't need to. They're all the same. I know what they'll be like. All B.O. beards and crazy bloody jumpers. <laughs> Archaeologists are talked up chances. All they have to do is find one leather shoe. One tiny leather shoe. Yeah? Look at it for 15, 20 minutes tops, and then they can paint a picture of an entire bloody city based <laughs> solely on the evidence of that one leather shoe. <laughs> I think it's a bit more complicated than that. No, it isn't. <laughs> what if the archaeologists of the future are digging up Great Britain and all they find of Great Britain and our beautiful civilization is Steve here, hey? What if Steve here is our one leather shoe? What are they going to think of us then, hey? They'd think we were a bunch of wankers. <laughs> exactly. Look, why don't you just come along and say hello? <laughs> Well, I don't think much of yours. Well, mine come to that. I hope you don't mind, Mud. I do. Looks like I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> Aren't you crazy? <laughs> well, I suppose I am, really. After all, my career does lie in ruins. <laughs> I'll get it, hey, I'll get it. Uh, Sue, can you come and have a look at this interesting bit of mud for a second? You see, they're all the bloody same. <laughs> <laughs> Suck into that. That is the woman I'm going to marry. Blimey. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Ah, uh, yes, I, I think you are right, Mike. This piece of mud is fascinating. Oh, oh no. <laughs> She's French. <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's French. I want to, but I couldn't. <laughs> I can't, but I want to. Come on, it's been a year. Men, pathetic, aren't they? Absolutely, blinking lootly. I mean, how old is she? Scarcely born fetus face like her. It's disgusting. Makes you want to chunder. You're not wrong. Perhaps the only one here is taking any interest in the actual dick. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> well, you know, guys, uh, you don't have to just watch, if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. Watch. Watch. Would we be working near Sue? Uh, yes, I suppose so. I'll do it. <laughs> so what should I do? You could start by having a cold shower, you mongrel. Here, take this towel. I'm doing the weeding, then. <laughs> You're funny. Trollop. <laughs> Any other takers? Oh, come on. Give it a go. I can show you that history can be F-U-N. Fun. Yeah, and you're a T-I-T. Tit. <laughs> I'd love to join in, Mike, but uh, urinal bleach blocks don't order themselves, I'm afraid. <laughs> Abyssinia. Ah, uh, I tell you, Gov, I can hardly believe my luck. A dig set in a pub. Have I died and gone to heaven? <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> no, 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 no. The technique is all wrong. Is it? Yes, yeah, more like this. Ooh. Bastard! <laughs> hey, Lara Croft, you're digging in someone else's trench. You don't have the rights to any jewels you might uncover. I'm sorry, I do not understand. Oh, yes, you do! I burnt Sammy! Oi, Brooks, you're barred. Sling your hook. How can you bar the man that has found Excalibur? <laughs> Made in China. <laughs> On your bike. It's English are oh, crazy, eh? Leave this place while there is still time. <laughs> you are cursed. Cursed. Here we go, the obligatory nutter. <laughs> the only curse archaeologists have to deal with is a bloody public. <laughs> oh, yeah? What about the legendary curse of Tutankhamun? 
Not one person from that ill-fated expedition is alive to tell the tale. Coincidence or something more sinister? It's possibly because the expedition took place some 60-odd years ago. Lord Carnarvon died within weeks. Coincidence or something more sinister? He died of pneumonia. <laughs> you think the ghosts of the pharaohs might come up with a more dire fate than a bit of a cold? And what about Howard Carter? He's the one who actually found and stripped the tomb of its treasures. He lived for another 17 years. And then he died. <laughs> Coincidence? Or something more sinister? Mark my words. Your actions will only end in destruction and sorrow. You English are crazy. Oi, pull it here. Gav. I'm very impressed. Huh? With you letting the staff you're paying, well, in theory, anyway, work for this crazy joker for nothing. Oh, yeah? Who's looking after the pub? <laughs> Crosby, get back to work. Right. Go on. Maybe I, uh, see you later. <laughs> Cosgrove, that's coming out of your wages. Ah, uh, don't worry, mate. It was really old anyway. And you can get back to work. What? Pleasure. <laughs> no, a pretty little thing like you. You shouldn't be doing that. Your womb could fall out. <laughs> you work shy, toss pots. You should be ashamed of yourselves cleaning up the pots while a woman here does the man's work. I hate you, archaeologists. I hate you with my whole heart. You're not normal. No, give me that back. Oh. Please stop that. You damaged the model. Mm -hmm. These English are crazy. Uh, hello. <laughs> go away. The toilet is this way. Oh, just go here, love. Everybody else does. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I've got to go too. Um, I've got to. Um, uh, I've got to change the nuts. Yes. <laughs> uh, I really like your hair. What do you really like? Archaeology is my life. Hello, Steve. Oh, oh, really? I really like archaeology, too. Um, you know, I... You just told me you hated it. Yeah, well, you French, you're up to something, aren't you? You're not normal. But I... Come on! A potato is a potato is a potato. Admit it, it's not an apple of the earth. <laughs> we found it, we get to name it. And it's breakfast, not little lunch. You are the rudest person I have ever met. And remember, I grew up in France. <laughs> Another thing, mustard is yellow. It is not brown. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Well done, boy head. Gav. You showed her with her wrong coloured mustard. Oh, what have I done to deserve this? I want to, but I can't. I'm confused. I was never confused. I've done it. I found the holy grail of archaeology. The holy grail. Terry, that is an egg cup. The true messiah would drink from an humble cup. <laughs> Get out of it, Terry. Don't stand a chance with her, Flamingo Thighs. She's not just out of your league, she's playing another sport. We'll see about that. <laughs> she's too clever for you, Steve. -O. She's bilingual for a start. So what? I could use both hands. <sighs> <laughs> She's educated. All you ever read is comics. Not just comics. I read magazines about the unexplained and serial killers as well. <laughs> Please, Janet, don't mess this up for me. If you care for me at all, give me this shot at real happiness. Haven't you been listening to me for the last two months? I don't care for you. I want a root. <laughs> <laughs> you tease. You let me on. Piss off, you weirdo. <laughs> oh, how I wish that you had not said that. <laughs> These English are crazy. Come and have a look at this, Piers. Oh, my, oh, my, yes. These are some of the finest coprolites I've ever seen. Eh? Coprolite? What's that? Coprolite. Fossilised faeces. You know, excretum. <laughs> In layman's terms, it's poo. <laughs> You're kidding. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, there are hundreds of them here. Yeah, well, all the locals use this place as a toilet. It seems historically they always have done. I mean, these coprolites go back centuries. They can tell us so much about diet, about health, about habitat. Can they tell you actually produce the coprolite? Oh, of course not. Why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> 
Look at this bloke. His job is to dig up dead people's turds. I prefer the term <laughs> coprolite analyst. Don't talk it up, pal. You're not a coprolite analyst. You're a bloke who pokes around in cap. You're a <laughs> chutney ferret, mate. Really? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Has anyone seen Cosgrove? He didn't come into work today. I have not. I have no idea where he might be. Coincidence or something more sinister? Hello, Steve. How are you today? Hey, I told you. No archaeologists in here. Oh, come on, Gub, as if she's doing any harm. Yes, she is. Hey, look, you see, they're like rats. Once you get one in, you get an epidemic. <laughs> you are not welcome in here. But, Gub, we found something very exciting. No, I'm not interested. Oh, you will be when you hear what we've got to say. No, I won't. <laughs> we have reason to believe that this site is the scene of the Saxon Tavern. Really? Yes. <laughs> the skeleton that was found... Skeleton, surely. <laughs> no, no, skeleton is more correct. See? <laughs> The skeleton is that of a publican that was killed by a Norman Arrow in 1066. You see? A French. You're up to something. Grand mustard. And judging by this one leather shoe that we've been... <laughs> that we've been looking at for about how long? 15, 20 minutes tops. This is without a doubt the oldest pub ever found in the British Isles. Here is how it would have looked in situ. <laughs> in fact... I would even go as far as to say that this is definitely the birthplace of the great British pub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, I love you. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Drinks for all the diggers. Up me ass. Oh, Mike, I can't thank you enough, mate. You know, as I always say, I am outstanding in my field. Huh? <laughs> outstanding in my field. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're a nutter, mate. <laughs> oh, who'd have thought it, eh? My pub, the cradle of British drinking. Not only that, Gov! It's the location for the lost continent of Atlantis! Terry, you hit the bloody water, mate. <laughs> Give me that. Ah! Well, what do you know? A tic tac. After all this time. Mmm. Tic tac into that. <laughs>